हेलो आई एम संतोष काळे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग बायोलॉजी के बारमती टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अपलाइन कोडिंग अल्गोरिथम लेट अस सी द प्रॉब्लम इट इज ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द स्क्रीन वी हैव फाइव डिफरेंट सिंबल्स फ्रॉम एस0 टू एस4 having the different value of probability 0.4 0.2 0.2 0.1 and 0.1 so the step number first to solve the problem based on upman coding is you have to arrange symbol and corresponding value of probability in decreasing order so in the first column you can write the symbol in the next column you can write the probability in decreasing order the next step last two value of probability you have to add them and once again in the next column you have to arrange the probability in decreasing order in the next step assign the code word 0 to the second last probability and assign the code word 1 to the last value of probability and you have to continue this procedure till you can get the addition equal to 1 and in the step number 4 you can also consider and consider this present so addition equal to 1 and you have to stop the procedure then you can write down the code word by pressing the bit assigned to the corresponding value of probability that is the code word column you can write down the value of code word so this is the procedure to solve the problem based on upman coding algorithm now the next step is we have to calculate the value of average code word length so we have the formula to calculate average code word length according to this formula summation k varies from 0 to k minus 1 pk into lk so value of probability into code word length put in the formula you will get the value of average code word length this is equal to 2.2 now let us consider the another problem we have two different methods to solve the problem based on upman coding first method is highest probable method and second method is lowest probability method once again consider the symbol with five symbol with five different probability so step number 4 you have to arrange symbol and corresponding value of probability in decreasing order add the last two value of probability so addition is 1 and you have to place the added value of probability in the next column by placing this added value of probability you can use the concept of highest probable method or lowest probable method now if you observe carefully this probability having the value 0.15 at the second position also 0.15 it is present and the added value of probability is also 0.15 so this problem is solved by using the lowest probable method means you have to give the lowest priority to the added value of probability so you can place the added value of probability at the bottom and you can continue this procedure so you can get the addition of last two value of probability equal to 1 and you can stop the procedure and then the code word now in the next step you can calculate the average code word length by using same formula so average code word length This is equal to 1.9, and in the next step you can calculate the variance of average code word length L bar. So we have the formula to calculate the variance sigma square. This is equal to summation k varies from 0 to 4 pk into L k minus L bar bracket square. If you put all the values in this formula, we can get the variance of L bar. This is equal to 1.29, and we get. and the greater value of the square now we will solve the same problem using highest probable method 
Once again, procedure is the same. You can arrange symbol and corresponding cell layer probability in decreasing order. Add the last two cell layer probability and place the added cell layer probability in the next column. But while placing the added cell layer probability, you can give the highest priority means the added cell layer probability it is placed at the top position and this point feature it is placed below this cell layer probability means to the added cell layer probability this point feature so highest priority it is given and it is placed in the second column so once again continue the procedure till you can get the addition equal to 1 then write down the code word by tracing the bit assigned to the cell layer probability in the next step, we will calculate the average code word length by using the same formula. So, you will get average code word length, this is equal to 1.9. So, by solving the problem by using highest probable or lowest probable method, we can get average code word length, say, it is 1.9. But if you calculate the current of L bar, it reduces. It becomes point. 99 and in the highest in the lowest probable method it is 1.29 if you solve the same problem using the highest probable method the parents of L bar reduces and we come to the conclusion that if upman coding algorithm it is solved by the highest probable method then you can get ready and we can get the maximum value of probability. So this is all about upman coding algorithm. Once again we will revise the procedure to solve the problem based on upman coding algorithm. So step number four, we have to arrange messages and corresponding value of probability in decreasing order. And last two value of probability, once again place the added value of probability in the next column. With the last two value of probability, second last you can assign the code word 0, with the last you can assign the code word 1, and continue this procedure till you can get the addition of code word 1. Then finally, you can write down the code word by tracing the bridge assigned to the value of probability. In the next step, you can calculate the value of entropy, you can calculate the value of average code word length, and you can calculate the value of code variance, you can calculate the value of efficiency of the code. So, we solve upline coding algorithm by using two methods and we conclude that highest probable method it is better for upline coding algorithm because we can get the maximum value of efficiency and minimization in the code carrier. So this is all about upline coding algorithm. Thank you very much.